I'm going to be doing is sectioning my hair because it will keep all of my hair organized and I'll be able to do everything um, in the right order. Thin hair, you can use hair extensions for the bottom part. If you have thick hair like I do, then you can just split it in half. The curling iron is best for touch-ups later, but you can choose to use other tools such as hot rollers to curl your hair. I'm using this tool, and if you want more details, you can check the information box. As you can see, I'm creating kind of like a spiral curl, and I'm just going to show you what that spiral curl will look like once I remove it from the barrel. It looks just like this, and this curling iron does come with the heat protectant glove that you see. So this is what the bottom of the hair is going to look like, or the bottom section. Then I'm going to curl from the mid part of the hair section on the side. I'm just working on the side section of my hair, because this hair is going to fall back like this, and I want this half of the section to have all the curls, and the top part to be nice and straight. If you have wavy hair, you can choose to straighten the top part of your hair so that it falls nice and neat like that. So now I'm just going to wrap my hair around the clipless curling iron. This is about a one and a half inch barrel and I'm going as you can see about halfway down the hair section on the side. And I leave it on for a little bit and then once I'm done, then I release it, and the next thing I'm going to want to do is clip my hair to keep it in place. And this is just going to help help the curl last longer. So now I did the same thing on the other side, just curled it and then clipped it up. And then I'm going to be working on the top section, which is going to fall back like this, and I just want to start the curls at about this part of my hair. So there you can see I'm working in sections, and looks like this. I'm going to take my curling iron and wrap it about halfway making sure that the hair kind of like falls back because this part of my hair is going to be styled towards the back of my head. So then you can see there that I have all of the curls and then this area which is kind of like the pompadour area combed back and then clipped in place for now and just letting this cool. Once all of it cools and I go ahead and release it and then you'll see that I have all of the curly hair with the top part nice and straight. And this is just going to make it so much easier to style later. So now what I'm doing here is I am clipping the top part out of the way and I'm going to, to leave the bottom half down for now. And if you're going to be wearing this for a wedding, French braids are best because they stick really close to your head and they're not loose. So you would create a French braid like this. One or two French braids is best. I'm just demonstrating here how you could do that. But I'm going to just do two loose braids. And these are okay, but as you're dancing and moving around, it's not as firm as a French braid would have been. So here you can see I did just two little braids and tied them together. Now I'm taking my hair rat and I'm going to put it right over those two braids and I'm going to pin the hair rat into those braids and those are going to serve as an anchor to hold my hair rat in place. So I added very many bobby pins to hold this hair rat in place. So don't be afraid to do that. Now I'm adding some hairspray to make my hair nice and tacky and I'm going to be taking sections and wrapping it back and pinning it down. This is just going to hide the hair rat a little bit more, especially um, if the color doesn't really quite match with your hair. So you don't have to do it perfectly, just add as many layers as you can. And once I'm done with that, you know, just make sure that you add a lot of hairspray for each section and pin it down like so. You can tease it also if you'd like to add some more lift. And just make sure that you do bobby pin it on both sides. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on the pompadour area. So I'm going to spray it and style it by teasing it with this um, teasing brush. And I'm also going to make sure that the front is nice and smooth. So teasing it will just create more of a bump or a lift. So then I'm holding the hair about halfway and I'm twisting it. I'm just going to kind of like tease it a little bit more, add a little bit more hairspray or anything that you need to do. 
so then just hold it about halfway and if you kind of slightly twist it it and then push it forward it will turn into kind of like a little pompadour and then make sure that you spray it to hold it in place when you pin it down make sure that you use um, bobby pins on both sides and there you can see I'm pinning it down on both sides with bobby pins and then I'm just going to spray it a few more times I really want this hair to last or this hairstyle to last which is why I'm using a lot of hairspray so if you're using this for a wedding or for anything special, you really want to make sure you put a lot of product that's going to hold it in place. So here I'm taking the side section, which is going to go right on top of the um, actual hair wrap. And I'm teasing it, doing the same thing that I did with the pomp in the front, spraying it with hairspray. I'll come back and fix this area um, a little bit later, like to make it nice and smooth. But right now, more importantly, I am teasing it and making sure that it goes really um, poofy on the side and then I'm going to make sure that these curls kind of like swing around and hang on the side so I pinned that down and then I'm going to shake my head a little bit to make sure it doesn't fall off if I'm dancing or anything like that if it does fall off just make sure that you add some more bobby pins to hold it in place I did the exact same thing on the other side making sure that I tease it and also smooth it out and um, kind of gave it a little twist and then pinned it to the hair rat on the side. So now I'm smoothing out the flyaways by spraying some hairspray and then running a nice little comb through it. Be very gentle and be careful not to mess up your style. I'm just touching up the curls here as you can see and this is because I've been styling my hair so much that I kind of um, destroyed a little bit of the curls. Now I'm adding some final touches create the look that's very similar to Sarah's in the Labyrinth movie. I'm just adding ribbons here and there, making sure to tie a little bow, and I'm done. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to leave a nice comment or click on like to show um, if you liked this video or not. And I would like to say a special thank you to my husband and also to the YouTube channel New York Outlaws for the introduction song shown in the video. If you'd like to know more information about this video and the making of, please visit my blogging channel posted in the information box. Thank you for watching.